So I posted, you remember the uh, the Booker's uh, vertical we did? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And uh, I posted that in the Whiskey Guild. Whiskey Guild, um, all comments here. It says, uh, Jasper says, uh, no 2023s, but the ones I tasted, hey, 2016 and the 2019, were great. Thanks, Jasper. So that was 19? Uh, yeah, 2019. Well, that's been a minute. A 2016 and a 2019. He said oh. they were great. I ain't mad, not, uh, but that's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has. Drunken Unicorn Productions. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Kansas City Whiskey Guild. Uh, one, two, um, says, uh, sounds like fun. Enjoy. We did. 100%. Adam Gertz, I'm guessing. Uh, Adam says, my faves in descending order, mighty fine, storyteller, apprentice. I never scored a Charlie's. Charlie's was one. Charlie's one. Mighty okay. Fine is three. Mm-hmm. And four is... Where do you see that? It should say so. On here somewhere. Maybe right there. The Storyteller. Storyteller. Batch. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. That's apprentice. Apprentice. Yep. Okay. 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 Man, I I have I have zero complaints about any of Dude, these. Dude, three and four were just off the uh, chart. Yeah. And I I really none of loved, them were were bad. I really loved uh, number two. I thought I thought it was incredible. Uh, speaking of. Oh, you want me to hop? Speaking of incredible. What did you do to your piece of cake? Speaking of incredible. Look at that. Is that caramel? Oh, yeah. I cover the shit out of this in caramel. And what did Miss Katie do here? What did, what did you do, Katie? She made a bun cake, a mm-hmm. chocolate bun cake, and then she's like, I think I put the stove too hot and it, it cooked it too long or something. You're welcome to it. Um, maybe put some caramel on there if you want or some powdered sugar. I just... Put some caramel syrup on top of it, which I think moistened it up maybe a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't know about leaving it in there too long. It's great. Um, especially after the caramel came into play. But I mean this is this is delicious. Do you guys like uh, chocolate bunt cake? You guys like cake? You like cake versus bunt cake? What are your thoughts on cake? Leave us a comment. Send us an email. Info at savertheburn.com. That's a good cake. <clears throat> so yeah, we've been. Uh, That's a good cake. So off air, we've been talking a lot about my Louisville trip and that. Yeah. And we spent a lot of time talking and kind of unpacking my Michter's experience. Mm-hmm. But back to the Heaven Hill bottled and bond tour that we did. Mm-hmm. They gave us this cool lanyard that has a little <laughs> mini uh, baby Glen Karen attached mm-hmm. to there. I'm pretty sure I can get a full-size Glencairn to fit on there, and if I can, game changer. Yep. I'm walking all over the place with my own Glencairn everywhere I go. Mm-hmm. Poor. Right. <laughs> Ready to go. But um, so they, they gave us that, though, because they can, that's considered a walking tour because we got to visit the mm-hmm. Rick houses. We went to Heaven Hill's oldest Rick house, and then we got to contrast that with going to their newest Rick house. Mm-hmm. And along the way, we got to sample a variety. You know, instead of doing a tour and then going to a room where they give you a flight board yeah. and then pour your things... They gave us these because on the tour, we're standing in the belly of the oldest Rick house. The entire building smells like the most amazing caramel, vanilla, Mm. toasted wood, all the things that we love about our bourbons. That entire building smells like that. Mm. So you're walking down these corridors and just everything smells like the most amazing super aged bourbon you've ever had that's just the air that that we're breathing and along the way we're stopping and we're you know there she there are tour guys telling us the stories and then she's pulling out a bottle and going down and filling our baby mm-hmm. glen Karen glass and uh yeah so she had so we stashed in 
here and there well, everywhere. She, there were some bottles stashed, but she also had like a carrying case that had like four or five bottles in it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, as we're walking around, we're getting tastes as we go along as it relates to where we are in the Rick house. So we did Evan Williams, we did the Henry McKenna, we mm -hmm. did the Elijah Craig, we did the Rittenhouse, uh, excuse me, Rye. We did the Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond, which we will be doing here really soon. Yep. By the time this Looking comes out, we will have probably already done it. And let us know what you think. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was just cool because as we're walking around hearing all these stories, visiting and seeing the inside belly of a Rick house, mm -hmm. we're getting to taste what's being produced right there next to where we're standing. So I'm standing next to these, wow. these barrels that, you know, they all have QR codes on them and they're all, um, and, and they all say what they are, but they also have QR codes on there. So everything is, they know where every barrel is and, yeah. and how long it's been there and what's in there and all the things there, even though we, we run across a lot of no age statements, we do. The distillery knows exactly what the age statement is mm -hmm. on everything they're producing. I think that's because of blending. There, it's because of blending. It's because of if you put an age statement on there, it is the age statement of the youngest that is in the blend. Yep. Um, anything, anything younger than anything that has a no age statement is at least a two year. Hmm. So I was going to say. Three. So if if it's no age statement, it's at least two years old. Mm -hmm. If it's younger than that, it has to have an age statement. And there's something else that 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 I learned. Why would you want it younger than than two years? Though? Well, we've we've had a one year. Uh, Balcones rye, I think, is only a one year. Yeah, but that's a rye. Yeah, it's still a whiskey though. It's still a whiskey. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's a that's a really good point. Balcones knows what the fuck they're doing. They do know what they're doing in a machine shop under a bridge in Waco, Texas. Yeah, they, they definitely know what they're doing. It's not a machine shop anymore. Yeah, they, they know what the hell they're doing. They're, they're actually in the process of discontinuing a few things and really focusing hardcore on mm -hmm. their single malts. Yeah, I heard that they were going to discontinue that. That uh, Was it the rye that I got? The rye. The Texas rye, the 100 proof? Yep, I was it's, like, it's going to go away. Shit. Why would you get rid of your hundred proof rye? I mean, people use rye as, as a mixture, uh, a mixer for Manhattans, um, mm -hmm. old fashions. Like, don't get rid of your rye. What are you thinking? And a hundred proof is perfect for cocktails. A hundred proof for a rye is mm -hmm. perfect. It's perfect. Whoops. Sorry, I got excited. It, number one, yeah, a hundred proof for a rye is perfect. Two. It's perfect for cocktails, also. Mm -hmm. Miss Katie, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. This, Dude, this th cake was a okay. I, I have no complaints. This, uh, this no moat, this moat of, uh, 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 of, of a, yeah, this caramel moat that that ended up forming around this cake ended up being the perfect thing to help soak up mm -hmm. the cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's it's like me and my fucking pancakes. Like they have to have a bunch of syrup on them. It just soaks them up. So I have to reapply the syrup time and time again. <laughs> That's with the great big pancakes. Mm. Jennifer can't handle pancakes. They're like they make her feel sick or something. But mm. I'm sure some of you already know what that feeling's like. But I just love them. I love pancakes. Mm. Little, little man loves pancakes, but he really loves waffles. Waffles are another. They're like pancakes with abs. You know, and you you fill up <laughs> you fill up each each square with, with oh yeah uh, with uh, with syrup with butter with fucking blueberries with something. Yep, you get a six pack of uh, <laughs> of uh, maple syrup. Yeah, yeah, got you like that, baby. <laughs> nah, this is good stuff. That was a tasty treat, indeed. And um, that was a tasty treat. And I love hearing about your um, your your uh, your tours at at Heaven Hill. At a, at Michter's, like I mean, you had a great time in Louisville. Um, I'm really looking forward to my first time there, and I'm gonna need a tour guide. Hopefully, you're available. That's the plan. Excellent. Because you know where we have to go if we're in Louisville. 
Jim Payne. <laughs> That's what's up. We have to go. That's my mecca. That's where I, I I wake up in the morning and I pray towards the Jim Beam factory, <laughs> towards the east. Whatever. The grounds are incredible. <clears throat> we did not uh, have, we did not eat at the restaurant that's there at mm. the distillery. You have a restaurant, but they have a restaurant. And Faith and Tim ate there back in February when they were there. Mm -hmm. They said it was the most incredible meal they've had. It, they said it was really, really good. Look at look at Beam coming through. Right across from the restaurant is the home of Baker. Okay, you you sent me pictures of that. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I posted one picture that you sent. It was like the uh, the outdoor plaque, yeah, like next to yep. the window. Yeah, I still think that's so cool. And and not on the that shutters, it, like how they have a B, mm -hmm. you need to have a W. You know, and and I I mean it's I'm 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 slowly. Coming to the dark side, dude. Of Jim all right, Beam. Jim Beam is not a fucking dark side. But One, two, you are not slowly hyper. fucking doing shit. The the second we cracked open uh, <laughs> Carlo's bottle of that Jim Beam uh, extra aged, you were like, oh, because I was like, oh shit, check this out. And you're like, okay. So and then we we tried it. We we're like, holy shit, we got to try more. So we got the the double what oaked I'm, or whatever. What it was. I'm trying to say Here is, go. here we go. When we got off the highway, <laughs> you get off the highway and you head down the road. Jim Beam is the first thing you come to, and then mm -hmm. it's Four Roses, and then there's Lux Row mm -hmm. and Willet, and then eventually Heaven Hill. Mm -hmm. There's something else back there, but I'm blanking on what it is. Um, but Jim Beam's the first thing you come through. But at we were on our way to Heaven Hill because that was our 945 tour that morning. Okay. So we had to go to Heaven Hill first mm -hmm. and then work our way back to Jim Beam. Okay. Okay. But okay. as you're driving by, that iconic white barn mm -hmm. yeah. is right out by the road. Okay. So you, you, you see the big archway that you drive under that says James Beam Distilling Company. Mm -hmm. But then off to the right is that iconic white barn that you see right from the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who you are. You, you get giddy because you're like, that's, that's it. That, that, that's the barn. That's, that's the bridge I've seen my entire life, and that's where it happens. <laughs> so, yeah. Huh. And then it's 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 one of these to get to the the shop and uh -huh. and the distillery and everything else. And the, you round the corners, and... I don't. I don't know if they've done it recently or if it's been like that for a while now. But, um, you know, over time, because of all the Kentucky heat and the humidity and all that, those rick houses they fall apart. Nasty is not the right word, huh. but but they they get a little moldy. They get a little crusty right. over a, time. Or that's whatever. That's because of the spirits escaping right, right. The, the barrels. Jim Beam made the decision to go ahead and just paint. Uh, you know, b b b because the r r rick houses are basically timber uh -huh. and corrugated metal. Yeah. That's all they are. Yeah. No frills, no insulation, just uh -huh. just timber and corrugated metal on the yeah. outside. That's all they are. Because the barrels are supposed to breathe. Jim Beam painted all of their corrugated metal on the outside black. So so oh, at, so as you're as you're winding through this road uh, down towards the 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 visitor center, you're passing all these huge seven story rick houses that are just jet black. Wow! Because eventually, because yeah. of the the mold and and yeah. the crust and everything else, they're they're gone. They're the mildew and everything yeah. else. They're going to turn black eventually. Yeah, but they, not the whole damn thing. I, I they, would no, guess they, they do, did that they do. To, to help speed the whole thing. They 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 kind of do. Huh. They they painted them black so that that way. What happens happens. They, you'll never know any. You'll never know any different. Yep. I figured they just paint them all black just to uh, help speed the. Uh, but the it's cool. <laughs> yeah. You see all these black, yeah. like flat black, corrugated metal buildings all over the place. And, there's no mistake in what those are. They're hmm. there's I wonder some, how much there's some good juice barrel in there. was tossed. 
They're going to have so many of them. How much could they cost? They they produce $25. a lot. $25. They produce a lot. Yeah. Not that low. Right, not that low. And I'm <laughs> sure they source them out because, I mean, I mean, you, you brought me the uh, the Eagle Rare. Or not Eagle Rare. You brought me the uh, Elijah Craig uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Honey. I'm sure that there's a Jim B market for that, too. Oh, I'm um, sure there is. There's... Uh, so many people want to age their beers in, in sure. ex bourbon barrels mm -hmm. and all the things. So I'm I'm sure it's not twenty five bucks, but I mean they have to produce a shit ton of of. Uh, I can't of, wait uh, to hear that how that honey is. every year. Yeah, it's got to be great. I could leave that here and we could we could fuck around with that. Oh no, anytime. No, you take it home and you enjoy it. All right, all right, all right. And if it's, I might drink it on the way to work. If it's life, <laughs> if it's life changing, bring it back. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. I might bring it back anyway because it's for the podcast. It's it's, it's uh, Elijah Craig. I mean, we could make an Elijah Craig cocktail with with that honey. as the sweetener instead of a, uh, a a simple syrup or you know something to that effect. We could just use that honey. Dude, we could make a gold rush. And Elijah okay. Craig Gold Rush. Okay, we've done the Gold Rush before, but not. I love a Gold Rush cocktail. Yeah, but an Elijah Craig Gold Rush mm -hmm. with the Featuring Elijah the Craig bourbon, raw. Maybe honey. the small batch. Is the small batch still over here? I probably took that home. So yeah, I took that home. So yep. the small yep. batch bourbon or anything else, honestly. Toast. Um, toasted barrel. I have a bottle of that. At this uncrapped. point, I have a lot of. Go. Barrel proof. So okay. So we could pick a barrel yeah, proof. Yeah, we could and totally pick. Go for it. Uh, yeah, we could go back into our notes, savertheburn.com slash liquor cabinet. I've had down. a couple that we haven't we haven't reviewed yet. Yeah. So we probably should have an Elijah Absolutely. Craig night, do yeah. those other barrel proof that, that I've got, mm -hmm. and then maybe do a cocktail with the honey. Yes. I'm totally down for that. Well, if you like what you're hearing, uh, definitely hang out with us. Uh, keep checking out uh, uh, your favorite podcast app of choice. Uh I mean, we we haven't gone over the the long list of. Uh, I mean, you got Spotify, you got iTunes, Apple Podcast, you got uh, Stitcher's no more. You got. Uh, or these days, Amazon, most people are just going Music. right to YouTube. Right to YouTube, yeah. So we got your favorite podcast app of choice and YouTube. But Spotify also supports the the video. So if you're using Spotify for your podcast, right, you're gonna see the video version right. of this and on Spotify. Kind of like YouTube, you can also leave us a comment. And yeah. you can send us an email through uh, Spotify as well. Yeah. So that's that's uh, definitely cool. And as always, uh, check out savertheburn.com for all things Savor the Burn. Send us an email, w2 at savertheburn.com, jonathan at savertheburn.com, and info at savertheburn.com. We're always happy to re uh, review your uh, your emails. Anyway, so, you know, thank you, um, thank you, uh, first and foremost for listening on your favorite podcast app of choice, uh, not including, but not limited to, but definitely including YouTube. We're always happy to see your comments and, uh, and your feedback. If you have a favorite bottle that you would like us to uh, review, let us know about it. Send us an email, info at savertheburn.com. We'll check it out. We'll see if we can find it in the Kansas City area. Yeah. If not, maybe we'll hit you up on the side, slide, uh, uh, uh we'll slide in your DMs. Maybe you could send us one of these, you know, you know, sample bottles of it. You know, and, and uh, if you do that across straight state lines, it's probably illegal in several states. I don't know. It's barbecue sauce. Thank you, Faith and Tim, for the barbecue. It's <laughs> got the screwball, curveball, curveball experience. Um, uh, that, uh, Miss Katie, that cake was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I know you didn't like it, but, you know, we are our own worst critics, our own harshest critics. So I get it. If you're not sold on it, it doesn't matter. We are. We are the audience. Indeed. Thank you. So no matter who you are and where you are and what you're drinking and what you're eating, never forget. Keep, Keep on, on burning. burning.